Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Mr. Ghana Baby right here in Pretoria. And if you see me in Pretoria, you know what I'm coming to do? I'm coming to hype this city. And if I should hype, I'm always here to hype any African country which is developing, which is growing. And this is my job and they are not even paying me for this. But I still have to do it because of the love I have for the continent. So you know what? Pretoria is the administrative capital of this country, South Africa. But I'm not going to do this video alone. Let me pretend as if I don't know anything about it. Victoria. So I got my brother here. I don't know how long he has been living in this country, but he is going to tell us all we need to know about the how train of Victoria. No, the how train of Gao Thin or how Thin. Thank you so much. And come on, why are you running away from me? Man? My how brother. I'm good, good to see you. Nice to meet Jovenci, you. Da the one and only African explorer. He's the best guy. I mean, if you want to go to every country in Africa, you need to go to his YouTube channel. I got you. So I'm with Wodemaya now here in Pretoria and this behind station is Hartfield. So the How train connects from Pretoria and Johannesburg because oh, okay. of a lot of traffic. So in 2010 it was built because of the World Cup. Wow. So when the World Cup was played here in South Africa, 2010, the How train was built so that it can help with people accommodation moving from Pretoria to Johannesburg. Wow. So it connects 62 kilometer from here to Johannesburg, wow. and it runs seven days a week, seven from five days a week to eight thirty. Is it so expensive to take the house train? It will cost roughly seventy-two rand for a full trip from Pretoria Hatfield to Johannesburg, but it's reasonable. You know what? I don't want to talk too much, and I don't want you to talk too much too. So let's go, and then let them sh let, let let us show them how to take the train from Pretoria to Johannesburg. To Johannesburg. Follow us and enjoy this amazing episode. Don't forget to go check out his YouTube channel and subscribe. Come I am along, Mark. guys. So the first thing when you, you need to get a high train card that's gonna permit you to tap in okay. from one station to the other station. All right. So you just come to the machine, buy high train. You take your trip, for example, it's a single trip to Joba. Select your station, one here is Hartford. Okay. Then end station is Park Station. So it gives you amount. Do you want to pay by cash or by bank? So I'll choose Opt Bank. Then put your MasterCard in my card. So then here you get your card ready and you just tap it in, tap it out. Easy oh. as that. Wow. So we are now at Hartful train station in Pretoria. This is the first train station going to Joburg. There are a number of stations, like five. Hartfield, then you're gonna go to Pretoria, then you're gonna go to Centurion, Midran, Marlborough, Santon, Rosebank, and Park Station, which is Johannesburg city, city center. So you need to have a how train card that's gonna enable you to tap in and tap out. So it's something just like the bank card, same slot. So you either buy it or if you have one you reload it money depending on how much you need to spend going to where you're going so you can get them through the counter they have a tailor that can help you with that but also their machines which are very very user friendly so you could just put in and follow the instructions they're all in english so you can easily get your card and reload it and get your card right away from my machine then you're gonna have to tap it in from the station that you are going in and then you're gonna tap out on the other station you need to make sure you have enough amount because you're not gonna be able to exit if you do not have enough amount on your car. Yeah, so we just scanned it and all we need to do is to use the escalator, get down and go get the train. Yo, the journey just began. We are here in Pretoria heading towards to where? 
Johannesburg Park Johannesburg. Station. And um, roughly it's going to take us 40 minutes, which means this train travels 160 kilometers per hour. But I just want to know the entire length of this whole train. So it's basically 62 kilometers from Pretoria to Johannesburg. Okay. And it takes roughly 40 minutes most of the time. It can be effective load shedding once in a while, but most... Effective with what? Load shedding. Load shedding in South Africa? Wow, I thought it's only in Ghana and Nigeria. It's in the recent year because the ESCOM has been facing a little bit of challenges. So we have a bit of load shedding, but okay. probably not as Ghana, but yeah. Yeah, how often do people use this train? So myself, I'm a living example. Yeah. I study in Johannesburg and live in Pretoria. So I move almost every day. Okay. And there are a number of people who live in Pretoria, work in Johannesburg, also who live in Johannesburg, work in Pretoria. So it's, a, it's very packed, especially during peak hours. That yeah. means from 5 to 8 in the morning and also in the evening from 4 to 6 when people are leaving from jobs. I decided to use this time because I didn't want people to um, disturb the vlogging. That's why I'm using this time, this hour to vlog. So as you can see, like the train is kind of empty. But one thing that I really love about this train is like, the seats are really comfortable. And then it's safe because we go ourselves. Is there a police or security yeah, man? Police. The police, you know. It's just like when you go to Nigeria to you find police and soldiers in the train. So basically I feel like it's um It's really safety. safe. Yeah. It's very reliable. Because mm. as I was telling you earlier, they also have an app, the how train app, which you could use and schedule your planning. So if you're planning to be in Joburg at one, you could leave at what time and they're always the train is always there on schedule. So it's pretty reliable, that's why most people use it compared to driving. Because most people do have cars, but you end up being stuck in traffic and you're not making it in the right time for your things. So. Yeah. And being Johannesburg in general in South Africa is a moving, very fast moving country. People are busy, people have schedules, so train is the most reliable, can say, transport. Which means that if you live in Victoria and you have to go to work around 8 o'clock, you can leave your house exactly 7.20, so by 8 o'clock, You'll be in your office. Yeah. That's how it is. Amazing. Keep calm and let's enjoy the ride together. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Some of the things that you need to have in mind. Yeah. If you're going to the airport, you should make sure to either drop at Santon or Marlborough if you're coming from either side because that's a different lane. So which means that um, the Gau train has two lines? Yes, so we have the northern and southern one. Okay. So the one that goes to Kempton Park which is the airport and the one that goes to Pretoria from Joburg Strait. Okay, so what, what, where is the intersection? Where do you have to interchange? In Marlborough or Santon. Okay, so you have to interchange that in Marlborough or Santon. Yeah. Okay. And also other thing to have in mind, you're not allowed to eat in the how train that's a don't so don't take food don't take cold or hot beverages like coffee and stuff but you can take water with that if there is no we cannot eat or take water which means that it's a metro i'll call it like a metro because it's a short distance 40 minutes if you're using the long distance trains which you are allowed to eat yeah. in there we also have restaurant but this train does not have restaurant this is what i noticed but along the line like um you can really enjoy the views that you're gonna see. You can see the highways, you can see apartment, you can see like I mean, like I said, South Africa is really beautiful. So whatever you come in here, don't sleep like me, just sit down in here, turn your neck and enjoy the view out there. I mean what next station is our station, right? That's Park Station. And that's the last station. That's but, Joba. But what I also way. what I also noticed is that people were coming in and going out. Yeah, so from Hartfield, there are less people, but from Pretoria and Centurion, because that's like the middle part, yeah. where more people come in, yeah. and most people, majority of people, go out in Santon. You know what, you know, like, um, train videos are actually my favorite videos. Sometimes I have to walk in the train, talk to people, especially when I was in China, but, you know, in Africa, vlogging in Africa is really tough. I mean, trying to vlog somebody, talking to the person might tell, hey, you know get out of there so you know um let's do it this way i mean i hope you guys enjoyed this amazing episode don't forget to go check out my brother's youtube channel jovenchi k i do lifestyle and travel content things to do in different countries accommodation and all that so
so link is gonna be on the description don't forget subscribe